Hello and welcome back to the posh job. It's two weeks on since we did our renovations, which are currently showing. So let's just have a trip down memory lane and remind ourselves what we did. As you can see there, we gave it a scarify, but we did two passes. We then went over with the hater mower on setting three and picked all the debris up. And then we went on there, as you can see now, with my granular fertilizer equilibrium, just going on, on setting 29. Then we mixed up a concoction of liquids Orbit, Slow Grow, Grace, Stella, H2Go and Dan Summer Secret. We then gave them a good shake in the tank and sprayed those on following the double line guide stripes that I created with the mower. Then I've just been back cutting and on Tuesday this week I came back and gave it a cut with the rotary and then with a cylinder and went on with an application of Galactic Green in readiness for today. So let's see the results. All right, so let's just have a quick walk over. See up close, it's quite long. So we'll get it cut with the rotary first because we just went over this with the cylinder. We just be emptying the box every few meters. So I wanted to show you this area. This is the area where all the big weed grasses are. Now last week, I'll just show you, like two weeks ago, they were all yellow, weren't they? So they've come up nice. So they've recovered well. And generally, we're just looking lovely and green. And this is going to be enhanced when we cut it. Like I say, I only cut it Tuesday, but just this time of year, a lot of rain lot of heat with the feed, optimum growing conditions, so we're going to get a really nice deep green lawn and that galactic just really making things ping. So we'll just pick up some of this debris, just whiz it over there, over into the corner. They've got the dead sycamore. Look at that blue sky behind that tree, isn't that just amazing? Absolutely beautiful. I've not seen a blue sky like this for a while. We've not had many of these this year, I'll be honest. Bit of debris in this corner. Just chuck it up there, like all this dead, it's got lichen all over it. So I think he's on about getting it chopped down because obviously we get a big gust of wind. That thing could topple. But yeah, look at that, not a cloud inside. Honestly, it makes me want to go, not go on holiday. I just feel like I'm on holiday today. So yeah, looking great. Doesn't look so good from this angle, but this angle you can see actually all the different areas of weed grasses because they've got like a different composition to the other grasses. So they shine, they reflect the light differently. So you can see we're quite prevalent. But this is what we knew when we took the lawn on. And it's often the lawns that are the worst ones that surprise you the most when you get them looking good because Britain's best lawn's looking pretty good. I'll show you a pic of that now, just being cut it. So all that's coming along nice and the little patch we did on the other side coming along with the liquid feed. But you just get so much more out of a job like this because you've actually turned something that isn't meant to be nice or very difficult to get nice, nice. So what we're gonna do is cut that way first with the rotary, double cut, and we'll double cut that way as well. And we'll double cut with the cylinder. And if you can see, just over there, we've got the battery on charge. So yeah, so it's time to get the hair out and give this a cut. Okay, so for those of you who are new to the channel, let me introduce you to the difference between a cylinder and a rotary mower. The rotary mower is just a mower. We can't do anything else with it other than have a blade on it and cut grass. But we can cut grass in whatever condition we want because we've got a blade spinning really fast like a helicopter. And that cuts and sends it into the grass box on the back and really packs it tight so we can cut a really big lawn without having to empty the box that often. But the disadvantage with a cylinder is that we've not got the blade spinning as fast and it propels into the front box and we have to empty it more often. But with the cylinder, Imagine cutting a piece of paper with a pair of scissors, we get that kind of cut. But if we put a, per, uh, if put a piece of paper in here, it's going to cut not very nice. And we're going to end up with a piece of paper looking like you've tore it with your hands. Whereas on that, it's going to be cut like you've cut it with a pair of scissors. And the other advantage with this cylinder, the Alex Sterling, is that we can pull out these cartridges and swap it to a scarifying or verticutting or brush cartridge. And they do a few of us as well. Other advantages as well with this one, you can cut in the wet, dry, whatever you want, and it'll still cut and pick up. Whereas with the sterling or any other cylinder mower, the front roller is just going to squash the grass down and you're not going to get a great cut. But because our grass is quite long today, we're going to go on with this first to take off the top and jam pack it all into the edge of the box. It's the back of the box. And we're going to go over it with this just to finish it off and get that extra nice, clean cut. And you'll see the difference between the two cuts when I'm done. So we're going to go on with this one first and then that one.
Okay, so that's up and down with the rotary, first of all, looking absolutely beautiful, very consistent all across. So what I'll do now is I've just got myself set up over there, going left to right now, and then it'll get those stripes patterned up, ready for us to go over with the cylinder, finishing it off for that lovely extra clean finish as we discussed earlier. Just thought I'd show you over this way. This is my favorite area because it's the, the best color and the best consistency of grass that we've got. So yeah, looking absolutely beautiful. Up close as well, fine. Fescue's taken over now. Like when we scalped it all back, the rye grass could come through after we'd seeded. But obviously over time, the fescue comes back and that's why we're a bit spongy now because that thatch layer is beginning to creep back up on us. And that's one of the reasons why I try and shy away from fescue. But if it's already in your lawn, you've already got it. There's nothing you can do about it. You've just got to live with it. But still quite happy though. Lovely color, just can't get over the color. Really can't. Okay, so it looks absolutely epic. I think Brittany might be landing anytime soon. She's due in, I believe. Of all the lawns, I thought she wouldn't visit. This would be the one. But what I'm gonna do now is get the sterling on it. I mean, I can't believe it. I've not even cut it with the alley sterling yet. So it's, how good's it gonna look when we do? Oh my, oh my. I'm in dreamland right now for September. I've, I've never seen anything like it on a lawn such as this. Did I ever think nine months on from starting this job we'd get it like this no i did not not in a million years you hope and you, you but you just think i've got all these weed grasses i've got all this i've got all that but we've done it absolutely fantastic so let's start with that sterling and let's polish these tips up and then you'll see the difference between the rotary cut and the cylinder cut Okay, looking absolutely beautiful, stunning. Best time of year for this lawn, with the sun the way it is, getting behind these stripes. Because last time we got the results like this, it was in the morning. So the sun wasn't like at its highest, because it was, what was it? End of April, early May. But look at that so far. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, get in. Yes. Oh yes, and let's just switch it round to the other side. Look at that, I love this pattern. You get more squares for your money. If you, what do you think? Do you prefer broad stripes, four width? Or do you prefer um, just two width stripes? Or if you're always that wide, one stripe wide. A few worm casts knocking about, but there's not much we can do about those. In a minute. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so I've got the sterling lined up, ready to go this way. Let's try and improve on these stripes. It looks, it's just absolutely beautiful. I, I'm lost for words. I'm absolutely lost for words. Wow, I could just stay here, here all day and watch that, but obviously I can't. But look at that. Have you seen anything better? Any jobs of mine, are they better, are they worse? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.
Okay, okay. Oh, yes, look at that. See the difference between the rotary and the cylinder coat? Just takes that extra little bit of fineness off and just makes everything ping so the sun bounces off just right. Polishes it as well with that stainless steel front roller. Oh, yes, look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, that's probably the best lawn I've had this year. Honestly, I've got, it's not the best grass that I've got in terms of quality of uh, variety and cultivar species but as far as results go from where it was to where it is now this is by far the best oh my god so ladies and gentlemen welcome to the stage miss britney spears oops i did it again da 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 Da, 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 da. Oh baby, baby, oops, you think I'm in love That I'm so far above I'm not that innocent Just have a look at Mark's side, the one that he's taking care of Just had rotary cuts this year uh, And this has just had liquids on it It's had one uh, application of equilibrium early doors but he just uh, likes the liquids, so it doesn't give him too much to do in the week in case he can't get on it because he's being busy. But yeah, that's looking good. But that's the difference when you look at some of it. You look after some full time with cylinder feeds and everything, you get that result. As, so you can see the difference between the two. So we'll just have one more walk over close, just venture over somewhere, just pick a spot. So yeah, a few worm casts, but we can sort that out with the worm cast reducer that i'll be shortly bringing out it's just too been too wet at the moment obviously the wetter it is the more it washes through but it's a topical treatment so they have got to wait for that to have a dry spell really too windy today to do it get some reduce on that's going to stop the dew forming in the morning so we're going to cut down our chance of getting disease or try to cut down our chances it's very difficult even doing all these things you know when you go into an operating theater they put gloves on they scrub up they put iodine everywhere and but you might still get MRSA. So there's no 100% way of doing things. It's just, you can do the best practice to try and keep things at bay, but just to, sometimes the, it's out of your control what happens with the weather. So let's have a look down here. But that reduced, getting that water off in the morning, because I'm not going to come here and brush it. Mark's not going to get up every day and brush it. So we'd use the reduce, stops the dew formation, thus what that does so when the sun shines on water on the lawn you get a greenhouse effect underneath so any spores of that are going to get hotter more like into that temperature and you're going to get an outbreak so if we can reduce that we'd reduce our chance of a disease outbreak so yeah over here beautiful absolutely beautiful so what we'll do now is we'll go over to howard's it's a week on since we did the renovations up at charlie so we're going to see how that's going and then we'll see you back here after that. All right, so we just turned up at Howard's after the storm of wind we've just had. It's pretty calm. So as you can see, it's kicked in quite nice, what we did last week. So yeah, so what we need to do is, first of all, we need to give it a rotary cut to pick all these leaves up. So a week after we did the scarifying, I'm pleased with this, how it's come back so far. So you can see we're at the soil, we took that back, didn't we? So there's still more to come from this because it's only a week since we did it. So there's miles more of that feed to kick in yet. Same here, I'll go on with the reduce, just to stop that dew formation in the morning. I'm gonna give it a water now, cause it's been quite hot today, it's 25 degrees right now. Although we had a bit of wind uh, earlier as well, that's dried out even more so. And yesterday as well was really windy. So we'll just give it a splash. We'll be splashing over there in the shade. 
because it's uh, pretty damp over there, so we don't need to do that. But this near end, we have to do that. So let's go and look at the front and see what that looks like. So just saunter around the front. What I did midweek, I put some Summer Secret on. And it's come through an absolute treat. I gave it a double Scarify with the Alex Sterling last week as well, just to get out a lot of necrotic growth. Loads came out as normal, which is looking great for this time of year. I'm happy. I should on terra firma. See the grass, the soil's right there. So there's no length to that at all, really. 20 mil, been cutting that out. A few worm casts knocking about. But over here, there's none. So this must be, I don't know why, just doesn't have any. Beautiful. So all's good. So I'll give this water today as well, but I'll give this water all over, especially under the tree, because they're pretty dry under there, because the rain doesn't get under there. But generally, I'm happy with this lawn, as it is right now, going into the winter or into autumn. Okay, so this is the front, just been watered, up close, beautiful. Love doing this. Very relaxing. Just stroking the grass. Lovely. So that will be enough water now. It's not as hot tomorrow, not as windy. So we should be all right. So it's gonna look around the back and then this one's done. All right, so we're nicely watered in the back. That was wet through five minutes ago. So you see how quick it dries up off the flags. That's how quick it dries up off the lawn as well. But because we've got the nice heavy droplets now with that irrigation system, we can get it quite deep pretty quick. So it doesn't dry out as quick. But with just a normal hose, we just won't be able to keep up. We'd have to, put, we'd have, to have the sprinkler all day to get the water on that we need. All right, that's this video done and dusted. Hopefully you're as pleased with the results as I am. So we've taken a lawn that looked like this and turned it into this. So if you want to see more lawns being turned around like this, join us next time on Daniel Hibbert Lawn Expert when we'll be doing something else lawn related. So take care and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.